Hey guys, it's Nicola. So this is your intro for September the 1st through the 15th. I will be bringing, well, I am bringing back the pay per minute special. It is $1 per minute video or phone read. There is no limitations and all readings are first come first serve. Meaning when you pay for your read, I call you or contact you. Make sure you have your contact information guys. I need to be able to get in contact with you. Please leave your phone number, your email, some way that I can contact you so that we can get started with your read because this is first come first serve so when you pay you get your read i don't care if it's three dollars i don't care if it's a hundred dollars other than that that's all i got all of my booking information it is in the description if you guys need to get in contact with me you can always hit me up on my email intimate wisdom tarot at gmail at gmail.com this special will not be on my website you have to come to me directly so please email me at intimate wisdom tarot at gmail.com all the information is in the description guys Thank you so much for all of my new subscribers. Y'all do not understand how happy I be up, be up here twerking and everything. Like, I love y'all. Y'all mean so much to me, and y'all keep me on my toes. I just absolutely love y'all. But other than that, that's all I got for all of my returning subscribers. Hey, how y'all doing? Let's get it started with these readings, y'all. Hey, Cancer. So this is for September. Guys, I will only be doing the love reads for the monthly reads and the mid-month reads. Um, from now on, I will not be doing general uh, reads anymore. There will also be a link for the extended version of this read um, on Vimeo in the description. So you guys can check that out if this resonates with you. We're going to be seeing what's going on with your um, situation right now. And if that does resonate, feel free to join me on Vimeo. So what messages do we have for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? Ooh, this could be the one. So you guys are dealing with two different relationships. I see unrequited love and this could be the one. So either there's someone that you're not even paying attention to that could be the one or um there's a situation where you feel like the love or someone feels like the love isn't balanced uh you could be different dealing with two different situations meaning there's an interest that you have that could be the one for you um but you may be dealing with a situation that is imbalanced okay so let's see what we got for cancer sun moon rising and venus september 2018 cancer Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. September 2018. What messages do we have for Cancer? Sun, Moon, Rising, okay. And Venus. Some of you guys are needing to free yourself from a situation, or you have freed yourself from a situation that um, had a lot of red flags, okay? So, yes, 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 yes. Some of you guys were in a commitment or in a uh, relationship to where there was a lot of red flags. Spirit is suggesting you to keep an open mind, not with the relationship, because there is an indication to free yourself, but that the person that you are actually looking for, the person that's meant for you may be different from what you were expecting. So this can't be this person that you were in this connection with because this was a commitment. You thought this was your one. You thought this was your person, but there is the signs of caution you to free yourself because someone else is bringing this true love energy cancer. Ah, Y'all got some love coming on. All right, so let's put these up and let's see what you got going on. Okay, underlying energy, true love. Mm. So right now we got a lot of, we got a codependency. Um, right now, or this is for September, so this is either the, energies for some of you guys the energy that you're dealing with right now at this time or this is the energy that you have been dealing with um there is a separation okay separation is smack in the middle of the layout so you've given a relationship a chance you've been trying to make the effort toward a relationship a chance but um whatever you've been feeling toward that and for some reason with a lot of you guys you've been feeling like it's um a problem like there's some negativity affecting your relationship that feeling is real okay we gotta make the effort it says great love is worth taking the steps you got to take why is make the effort here five of wands other people um into a situation Ooh. let's put that back eight of swords feeling trapped feeling trapped by restriction so there's some conflict um someone could be being resistant someone could be queen of swords this is you you're making the effort toward great love by working on yourself, okay? There's a separation here. The resistance may be from you freeing yourself mentally from a situation, freeing yourself mentally from drama. Um, make the effort to separate or resist drama. Detach from drama. I'm going to put that out here because I do see a lot, a lot of drama 
other people involved okay a lot of drama this is from and from you so you may be mad about something keeping up some drama or keeping up um pettiness but there's this it's because mentally you're very much in your head you're very much hurt um it's a nine swords here so you're hurt by whatever this three of swords energy is Someone hurt you, you severed a connection, someone severed a connection, you're very much hurt. Um, some of you are feeding into negativity. You need to raise your vibrations and move from that energy, okay? So let's see. It says give your relationship a chance, work in a partnership. Why is give your relationship a chance here? This Queen of Swords here is very nasty. Moving towards something new, ending, ending this... Um, some of you guys are dealing with multiple people. There's a true love energy here, but you're needing to end some type of betrayal or end some type of uh, arrangement, okay? And this may be where this free yourself from this type of partnership is coming from. Some of you guys are needing to free yourself from a connection. You're still stuck in a connection. I got this wedding and free yourself here. So you feel trapped by something. Eight of Swords here also feeling trapped by something, feeling trapped by conflict, feeling resistant to moving forward, being resistant to um, removing things. You need to make the effort toward great love because great love is here. True love energy is underlying energy twice in your read. Um, but there is a focus on negativity. So you guys are getting out of a situation, separating from a partner, and there's a lot of negativity that you're needing to move from. You're moving towards something else, but this self-betrayal has to end. Ten of swords, all of this, um, the sword action has to end. Why separation here? And that means you got to, you know, take what, take whatever it is as it is. Someone's moved. Secret, love. So the separation is someone's going toward this page of cups in reverse. High priestess, this is a secret love. They're not speaking this emotion. You're either not speaking on going toward this Ace of Pentacles, Ace of Cups, but that is why there's separation because there's a new opportunity for love, a new opportunity for movement, a new home for some of you guys. You could be moving, someone could be moving. Three aces on this separation. This separation is needed. Ace of Swords, Ace of Cups, Ace of Pentacles. This is following your intuition and understanding that there's new opportunities to change your life. Listen, the only thing we're missing is the Ace of Wands, okay? And this is you taking control of the situation with the Ace of Wands. But I just had to see. I got the Fool card under here. Some of you guys need to separate. Take a leap of faith. This is what's going on now. So you've made the effort. You've given a relationship a chance. You've tried to work on building or um, especially if there was a lot of conflict in this relationship. You tried to work on ending that conflict um ending the arguments ending the pettiness but now there's some truths that need to come out you want truths there's a true love that could be coming near you but you're needing to release the fears that you're holding or release this stagnation free yourself from this situation the signs are cautioning you it's time to free yourself you know this too you know that so many opportunities page of cups you don't believe in yourself you need to be honest with yourself what do you want? This is where this romantic feelings come in. What is real in your life? What do you desire? Okay. Whatever you're feeling, that is real. If it's pain, it's real. That means you need to move. That's an indication that something is in, as, at an imbalance. Okay. Why is romantic feelings here? It says your feelings are real and worth exploring. Why is romantic feelings here? Okay. So he's someone you want to choose to be with, but there's some confusion. You're expecting the worst about a relationship or someone is choosing. There may be confusion about someone's choice. Justice, yeah. So you feel like the situation is imbalanced. You feel like emotionally wise, something is imbalanced. There's a lot of confusion and you want it to be cleared up. You don't want the confusion within a situation anymore. You want clear justice card, eight of cups devil card some of you guys these feelings are real and you're going to express them you're going to choose either you're choosing a different love someone that you feel is more fit for you that emotionally could be a water sign male could be a libra could be a capricorn uh-uh devil eight of cups justice you walk if you were dealing with the capricorn you walk away from them 
um, because it was an imbalanced situation. You wanted something more. You were searching for something more in the connection. Um, this Capricorn could have also walked away and did what was best for them and maybe chosen. You probably felt like this person was choosing someone else and your feelings are real if this is what you were thinking. That's the anxiety behind it. Some of you guys are thinking that this person is making a different choice and they are. They have other options and that they love those other options. This is where the nine of swords, the anxiety is coming from. So this is why you need to free yourself from this situation. You're allowing this person's choice to affect your own decisions and your own mentality. Don't do that. We got codependency here. So this is um, addictions. You could be overdoing something. Stop, kid. This can be, um, are you messing with that paper I got from school? Don't mess with it. Um, this can be financial codependencies, imbalances, judgment, making a judgment call. Okay, so you could have been in a situation where there was a lot of burdens. Um, this person could have been in a situation with you where there were a lot of burdens in between the two of you. You're making a judgment call, sun and moon, to find your grounding, to find your peace. You're, you've, when I get the sun and moon in the read... Um, this person may be going back to their mate, sun and moon, because this is how I, I visualize twin flame energy, the yin and the yang, the sun and the moon. Now, this can also be clarity to illusion. You're making a clear decision to remove whatever fears you have within this codependency, especially if this person has been taking care of you or if they're, you're in a, a relationship to where all the bills or all the responsibilities fall on them. You're making a conscious decision to cut, um... Be clear and cut this codependency because you're you don't want this. It's a burden to you now, even though it may have been an okay situation before. Now it's a burden to you. Ten of Wands, you're releasing burden. If not to you, this person is releasing you because they feel like you're a burden to them. Either way, this situation needs to to come undone. It's not healthy at all. Okay, so. This resonates with you guys. You can hit me up on Vimeo. The extended version of this is in the description. This is all I got. Peace and light, guys.